Hey everybody, Sean from Media Assault here. And this week I'm going to be doing uh, one of my favorite science fiction films of all time. This movie actually appeared in my top 50 science fiction films of all time list. Um, if you didn't catch that list, I actually counted that down in a series of five videos. Uh, go back and watch it and uh, help you out. I'll put the link right there. Um, this movie came in at number 21 on my top 50 of all time, and that film, although you probably can tell from the title of the video, is uh, The Fly. And this was directed by David Cronenberg, um, stars Jeff Goldblum, Gene Davis, John Getz, um, and this particular version that I have is a uh, two-disc version. Um, got disc one and disc two. Um, and this actually came with kind of an interesting insert. I won't take it out, but uh, it actually has some uh, information about the telepods that are used in the film. Um, and then there's a, a list of all the uh, special features that are on the disc. And this is kind of um, packed with them. Um, and the funny thing is that I haven't watched anything but the movie on this particular uh, collection. I got this probably about a month or two ago um, and just got around to watching the movie probably for the 20th time uh, tonight. Uh, it is one of my favorite films, like I said. Uh, what makes it so special is the performance of Jeff Goldblum. Um, now the concept was updated. This was originally a movie back in, uh, I believe, 1960? I could be wrong, and I probably am. Uh, but the original was uh, with Vincent Price. And that movie um, was a completely different film than this one, besides the fact that it's much older. The concept was completely different. Um, you had Vincent Price um, and a man or an actor named David Hedison, uh, who was actually the scientist who accidentally turned himself into a fly. Uh, this kind of throws that whole concept out the window, retaining only really one element, which is the combination of a human and a fly uh, in one body. Um, and I think this is a much better film than that original. The original has its charm and it has its place as a classic uh, horror film, but this kind of updates it on all levels and improves it on all levels, especially the performance of Jeff Goldblum as Seth Brundle, the main character. Um, basic storyline, and I'm sure that you know the fact that a, a human and a fly combined in one body is uh, obviously the concept of the film, but the way that this particular movie uh, attacks it is that Seth Brundle is a scientist and he's creating these things called telepods, and what can happen is um, or what he's trying to get to happen is you get in sort of like a Star Trek teleporter you get in one telepod and it will transport you to a second telepod by nature of just basically disassembling you at a molecular level and reassembling you at a molecular level <clears throat> in the other pod so just like the Star Trek teleporter type thing um, he has some problems with it initially and um, he befriends a journalist played by Gina Davis and they eventually have a romance and she basically wants to document his progress on making this thing only be able to, first it only can do inanimate objects and then he is trying to make it so obviously he could transport human beings through it kind of solve the transportation crisis if you could go from point A to point B like that obviously you wouldn't need a car or you wouldn't need fuel or you know you wouldn't need a train you just go from point A to point B and bang problem solved but obviously it has to move beyond doing inanimate objects uh, and be able to transport you know things with flesh um, so Gina Davis basically signs on to document the progress that he makes from moving from only being able to transport inanim inanimate objects through to living creatures um, and something happens that he gets in and he tries to um, teleport himself and something happens and leads him to be combined with a fly. And uh, I'll, I'll leave the rest to your imagination if you haven't seen it. Now if you have seen it, you're aware of the fact that uh, this movie does get a little gross. 
but that's kind of part of the fun, I think. Um, Jeff Goldblum's reactions to some of the things that happen to him, or that he does, sort of almost beyond his control, um, are priceless. And that's that's one of the things that I really like about this, this film, going back to his performance. Um, his sense of humor is perfect for this film. Uh, the interactions that he has with the Gina Davis character, um, she plays the reporter named Veronica, <clears throat> are really good. They have a nice chemistry with each other. They, like I said, they do eventually have a romance. Um, and it works, and it's believable. You believe that she cares about him and that he is sort of so socially inept um, that he would do and say the things that he does. Um, it, it's, it's just, it really works on all levels. Um, it's engaging character-wise, special effects are really good, the plot is um, just really interesting. It's a 95 minute long movie that really holds your attention from the minute that the credits begin to the minute the credits roll at the end. It's just an excellent, excellent movie. Um, I don't know much about any other versions of this DVD that are out there. I know this one is chock full of stuff. Like I said though, I've only watched the movie itself. I really love this movie and I'm going to watch the other stuff that's on here. Um, disc one features obviously the movie which then has the regular soundtrack obviously um, but there's a commentary track on it from David Cronenberg, the director. But disc two has um, it says all new documentaries covering all three stages of the fly production, larva, pupa, and metamorphosis, uh, deleted scenes with storyboard and script comparisons, a never before seen alternate ending, which I'm probably going to pop in as soon as I'm done watching or recording this video, uh, rare test footage, which uh, is the makeup and visual effects, uh, the Brundle Museum of Natural History, and uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what that's referring to. Uh, George Langland's original short story. Um, Charles Edward Pogue's original screenplay. David Cronenberg's screenplay rewrite. Uh, interactive articles, stills with video clips from Cinefix and American Cinematographer. Some promotional featurettes, still photo galleries, publicity behind the scenes, concept art and visual effects. And the original teasers, trailers, TV spots, and more. Um, so there's definitely a lot of stuff on here that I have not yet seen. Be that as it may, the feature alone is worth the admission price of seeing this. And I'm going to add this to my too cheap to miss list only because I got this really cheap, but it's not a cheap movie. Now you can find this version of it. Um, I think there's also a double feature version that includes the subpar sequel that came out uh, a couple of years after this version. with which has Eric Stoltz as a uh, offspring, if you will, of Seth Brundle. Uh, I can't recommend that movie, but if you do find the double pack, pick it up um, and uh, you know watch the original version, uh, well, the original 1986 movie, and uh, then watch at your peril The Fly 2, which is a uh, very, very poor attempt at recapturing the magic of the original film. Um, but definitely seek out The Fly. I give it a, a 10 out of 10. Like I said, it, uh, it made my top 50 science fiction films of all time. It can be classified as a horror film, but the concept of it uh, is more along the lines of science fiction. But there are some horrific scenes in this film, uh, but you still don't want to miss it. So check out The Fly on DVD. I believe it is out on Blu-ray. I am not 100% certain of that. Um, if it's not, I will post an annotation on the video uh, after I get it up online. But uh, can't recommend it highly enough. The Fly from 1986. See it if you haven't. If you have, see it again and enjoy Jeff Goldblum as Seth Brundle in The Fly. Thanks for watching. As always, check out all my other videos here online at uh, YouTube's Media Assault channel. Um, and like I said, check out my top 50 science fiction films of all time if you haven't. Uh, I've reviewed some of those films separately before. I'm going to do some more of them um, just basically to give you some more information on some of my um, more favorite films, I guess. 
on the list. Uh, but definitely number 21 out of the top 50, The Fly.